This is a two-part video. The first part is how to install a mod. The second part is a request made by Sabato on the last video, how to get sim icons appearing in the game on the large map, which is also a correction on another video from a long time ago. Uh, to do this, you need a basic understanding on how to navigate your way around the PC, how to download files, and how to create folders. Okay, so install a mod. To install a mod, you need to go to your Sims 3 folder, which is in the C, Program Files, 86 folder, Electronic Arts, The Sims 3. Create a folder called Mods. Inside that folder, you need to have a file called resource.cfg in there. Download this file from the description. Then inside that mods folder you need to create another one called packages. This is where your mods and custom cont content will go and that's how easy it is to install mods. With that out the way, the mod that I spoke about within a previous video, incorrectly calling it portrait panel, is actually part of story progression. In order to see where all the sims are on your map when you press M and their relationship to the current sim, you need to s install Story Progression as well as Story Progression Extra. I'd also recommend Master Controller. The details for that are again in the description. If you're just after the images on your map, you can turn off Story Progression part within the game. To access the control of this mod, you can click on any sim, any item, as well as the Town Hall for even more information and options map-wide. Although I love the mod, the series that appear Sorry, the stories that appear in the top right hand side do get a little bit spammy but you can change this to being so it's family, friends, lovers or just off altogether. All of these mods come from the NRAAS site which is the only place I get my mods from. They have a great selection of mods that integrate really well into the game. They take on p your feedback if you leave any on the the discussion board. They're really helpful should you need any more help with the mods. Some of them are really powerful mods that can help, help alter the game in large ways and others are just simple little fixes. So that's it. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and I will see you in the next video. Bye!